All right, what's up guys? Welcome to East County Garage, and today we're gonna to be continuing the Retro Miata build by painting the wheels. Let's get started. All right, so first things first that we never ever do, because we always forget, is to loosen the lug nuts before you lift the car. Oh, that's not... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be doing the reroads first, and you can see my tires are flat, that's all right. Yeah, so, <laughs> originally Kyle wasn't listening to me, and I was just saying, since we're eventually gonna get new rims anyways, we should just paint over the dip. Because I did that on my car, and... I, I just didn't want to do that. Okay, well, that means you didn't listen to me. I meant... No, I listened to you, I just didn't. You didn't heed my advice. He didn't heed my advice. Like Anyways, he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do that, so he starts peeling him off, and of course he's being a bitch. So, now he's heeding my advice, so we're going to finish taking the dip off the front ones, and just paint over it on the rear ones, which is just great. So, what we're going to do then, is we're going to start, and we're going to get the rear of the car up, and do the rear ones first. That way we have time to uh, be peeling the front ones while the real ones are driving, uh, drying, yeah, driving. So, this will be good, hopefully. So, and then right before we lift it, we want, we want to block off the car, so anything that doesn't look blocked, block off the front. Mm-hmm. Doing things right. Oh. Kyle's back at it again with those fresh new end keys. Just kidding, they're stock. Stock end keys. Thanks, Mazda. <laughs> Thanks, end key. All right, so now we got the rear wheels off, so we're going to start by cleaning them up. We're going to go get some all persist cleaner and a brush and brush them to death. Try not to take too much dip off and get them clean enough that we have a good uh, clean surface to paint on and we'll be good to go. And I'm going to mask it off and uh, paint these suckers. So let's go get some cleaning stuff. All right, so here we go. We got our uh, <laughs> pretend this is all purpose cleaner. We're using glass cleaner because we're ghetto. And uh, now I'm just gonna start uh, spraying it on, getting her as clean as we can, and uh, see how it goes. All right, just keep in mind, this is not even remotely the proper way to do this. We're a little ghetto. We just kind of want it done. We're not worried about. Yeah, this is te this is temporary. Keep that in mind. Yeah. This is to make it look good enough until uh, we get either new stock rims to do this to, and then until then, that's temporary until we actually buy new rims. So again, temporary, not the proper way to do this. Don't follow this as a uh, how-to guide. This is open to interpretation. <laughs> So now we got these as good as we want them. And uh, I'm gonna move all this out of the way. And uh, start masking them off. All right, so now we have these all adequately masked off. I'm gonna start shaking up the can for a good minute. Kyle's on his way back over here. And I'm gonna get uh, the outer ring a bunch and get thick coated on with the chrome. Then we're gonna let that completely dry uh, mask that off and then paint the rest black. And then, huh? I'm excited. Kyle's excited. Oh, the truth. oh yeah. Step away. It, it goes on thick too. All right, so we had a little bit of a change of plans over here. I started spraying the chrome, and it wound up actually looking really good. Um, the dip has given us a lot of problems, you know. Like I said, don't follow this guy. We are half-assing it. We just want it to look better than peeling black dip with chrome uh, alloy underneath it, you know? Right, Kyle? Yep. So, Kyle actually, and I, I was like, hey, Kyle, come look at this. And it actually looks pretty good. Better than stock with this chrome paint. So what we're going to do is keep it like this, and we can always change our mind and do the black over it later, later on. But for today, we're going to try this out and see how it actually turns out. And we're actually going to be buying... Um, some other Miata rims yes. 
in the future. Uh, you'll see why later. And um, we can, uh, then those are 99% sure not going to be dipped yes, already. We have a much better chance with those. Exactly. So this is kind of a test run, if you will. All right, so we got the back ones on. Now we're doing the front. So far, pretty okay. Yeah, right. I think they, I think they can define it pretty okay. Yeah. Hella camber. Hella <laughs> oh, stance. I don't know if it's just lifted too. Lifted and cambered. Needs more low. <laughs> Alright, so Kyle's gonna roll them on over here and we will continue with the painting. <laughs> it will continue with the painting process. Alright, so as you can see here, we got all four on the car. Definitely some imperfections. Again, temporary. <laughs> want to stress that? I don't want butt hurts in the comments. But uh, definitely better than peeling off black dip. Yeah, I think I think as a whole we can all agree for that. Yeah, and this was mostly a test to see what we're gonna do with the new ones. So yeah. we're most likely gonna do the outer chrome ring on the new one with the black daisies. But for now, this is a pretty nice look. Definitely better than before. A little changing it up. And it kind of goes better with the whole retro thing. And as you can see, we took off the mud flaps because that goes better with retro. Yeah. And uh, now I get some because they go better with what I'm trying to do. So yeah, he, he, can, he gets them now so he can stop bitching about it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of uh, this video and see what else we did today, check out our second channel, ECG2. Have a good one. Stay tuned.